the flood has been the top priority. I've been I've only been here for I started in April, so I've had to when there's so much going on, um, you have to kind of keep track of everything. So I, you know it's broken out here. I do it into departments. These are all the departments of the town. So the highway department, water and wastewater, emergency services. So that's the police department, the fire department, the ambulance. We have a planning and zoning department, which handles all the permits in town, which is big right now because everybody's trying to rebuild. So there's certain things they have to do from the town and for the state um, in order to be able to rebuild and reopen. So that's a big thing. Obviously, we want to try and get everything um, reopened, for, especially for the winter. Buildings and grounds, I have it. It's kind of two things. So the skate park, we have a new skate park. That opens on Sunday. Okay. Check it out. It would Check be it really out. good. Right. Um, so that's the big one, obviously. That it's here because there's a new sign putting in. So I had to make sure that they were putting a sign in. Um, rec department is the other one. So skate park as well, but also baseball. The Little League fields as part of the flood were really hurt. So we're actually going to move the baseball fields from the Little League field now. See, and this is the, that's the ambulance. So now the ambulance is going somewhere. Nowhere but he keeps going. track of it too. Yes. So, All that stuff. Um, so the Little League field is going to be moved up to by you guys up at the school. You guys have been to the, obviously, to the wastewater plant. And it looks literally as though a bomb hit it. Um, and before... About a week ago, I had numbers on here that was broken down of all the how much everything costs, and they say to rebuild their wastewater plant is going to be fifteen million dollars, um, and that's to put it back the way it was. But as you guys said, with the you know the mobile home part, it's the same thing that it's going to get hit. Again. It's going to get hit again. So you try to do what you can, and they call it mitigation, which means preventing things. And the big thing is you know with the wastewater plant. They want us all the buildings that you saw there. They want to lift them up six feet. As with this flood, you know you guys have heard about this. Went through it. And you probably heard about Irene, which you're probably much younger. But things that were destroyed during Irene didn't get destroyed during this flood, generally speaking. As much uh, because you know the infrastructure, roads, and things that were put back because they were put back better than they were before. So that's really. That's my focus right now is, you know, as we talked about the floods, is trying to get things because we have spent, uh, yeah, we spent a lot of money at this point, uh, millions of dollars, and now we have to try to get it back from FEMA. FEMA pays us back. But overall, that's that's a snapshot. So out of, of the 10, out of the 10 million? That we or for the wastewater plant? No, that we spent. Right now we spent two and a half. Two and but, a half. I mean, our damage, the damage estimates for the town is forty. Forty million dollars. Yeah. A certain percentage of that forty million dollars, you're hoping is going to be paid by the federal government that, from Washington. Federal government will reimburse you up to being the key word seventy five percent. If you have the right documentation, Correct. and then the state of Vermont will also kick in up to 12 percent so, so then you're left with 13 percent of, of what you spent where right now it's about 150 thousand that we would have to pay in an ideal situation and that would come from where taxpayers that's right <laughs> and so this board changes every time i come in to see brendan and i different. come in to see him because he's my town manager I come in to see him about the skate park or the tennis courts. The tennis courts, oh, yeah. Or the recreation department or the school. I've come in and talked to him about yeah. the school. Yeah, um, and I usually have, this is just the way changes. I do it because there's so many with a, you know, in the town, obviously. There's things that you can plan on doing and then there's things that just happen. Um, and you have to, like in anything, you got to read and react. So, you know, one day you could be standing here and then the next day your town could be flooding. So I have, you know, things that I need to do that I have, I usually write down what day it is so I don't forget. Yeah. Um, and then ongoing things, but I make sure I have to, you know, a lot of it is making sure I get out and see the appropriate people and yeah. 
You get out to all your departments. Get out to okay. all of them every day. Yeah. Zoning map. So you have, they mentioned the planning and zoning department. The town is broken up into different um, zones. Zones. Yeah. For the department. So you have you know, the business area. Then you have the village. This is more you know, recreation. I want to say that all of this here. This is Okemo. So that's what's called the mountain rec mountain recreation. Um, some of the lakes regions, so it's all broken out and, you know, depending on what you want to do, you're limited to, you know, you can't put certain things in certain zones is the, the long and short of it. And every town is different. And yeah. this is the, I'll tell you, this has probably been the biggest learning uh, piece for me because I said I was in the town manager in Cavendish and we had no zoning. Yeah. So it was no basically zoning. the Wild West. No zoning. You could do whatever you wanted. You could do. You could build yeah. whatever you wanted, whenever you wanted. You didn't have to go to the town about no. anything. And there was nothing. And so. that sounds fine, doesn't it? Oh, I can build whatever I want. Nobody's going to tell me what to do. But so can my neighbor. Mm -hmm. My neighbor can build and put in a huge uh, uh, dump truck, uh, dump garage, garage right next to me. You know, or a rock and roll place right next to my bedroom. Yep. You know. And I have no say over that because there's no zoning in Cavendish. But in, in Ludlow, one of the things that I was listening to at your town meeting this last time, how many of you know where the uh, GE plant is, the old GE plant? That's right, it's right over there. That, they called that the old GE plant because it was a GE yeah. manufacturing plant. Now it's um, yeah. condominiums yeah. and they have a bar and... That's my phone. Oh, it sounded like my... My, my brother-in-law, I use the same <laughs> yeah. one as that. So um, they have a bar and a restaurant, kind of a restaurant, underneath that. And um, because of the flood, because it's right next to the river, they're having to do a lot of work. And, and the people who are living upstairs, yeah. the people who are the living upstairs wanted them to change something in the bar to make it less noisy for the people who are living up above. Yeah. And there's... There's the town regulations, and then there's the condo association regulations, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a lot of hoops that some people yeah. have to go through. There are. So you can see the purple up there. <coughs> so can you imagine the purple? What kind of regulations might they have around the purple if you were building a house? Lydia. Water. So what would that mean? Water. We can't, well... That you not build too close or too far, um, too close to the water's edge, right? Or or where your septic went, mm -hmm. right? Because most, like a bunch of you, like me, have your own leach fields, right? So you can't have your leach fields too close to the lake, right, up there. And you'd also probably have to build it at a certain height, certain regulations. So that's why that's a different zone. All these different colors are different zones. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. And, and what's nice too is that we've so we we've been studying the Black River watershed too, mm -hmm. and uh, people keep saying, including my wife Wendy, why do we keep building the Shaw's grocery store there? And and, and the kids ask you know, down there to the trailer park, so why do you keep building here? And we kind of started to figure out the answer to that. It couldn't live any other place. Exactly. That's, and, and, um, and as Jerry said, do you want to buy my place? Yeah. There's really, at some point, your options are limited. So. It is interesting. Yeah. All these and, and Brendan has to listen to all these different <laughs> opinions. Yes. And, yeah. and it's really, his job is really hard, but he's the perfect man for it because, he, first of all, he, he understands the laws. But he also listens to everybody's point of view. That's the key. That's the key. And to understand their point of view. And sometimes say, I get what you're going through, but. Yeah, that's the tough one. Is the that's but. the part. But. It's the but part. Yeah. It's. But is it is. How, how, how did you get interested in this field, Brendan? I don't know. No. Um, I actually went to school when I, when I was graduated high school. I went to college to be a physical education teacher. Um, I went to school for PE. I graduated, um, was not a physical education teacher. Um, I actually worked for 
four, three or four years for enterprise rent a car. Um, doing that, learning management skills, things like that. Um, then I took a job at Green Mountain, and I worked at Green Mountain for 10 years. I started, believe it or not, um, with Kelly Goodrich in the office as a, and as a sub. Um, then I went from there to be you know, a, Kelly? Um, I, I was the athletic director and buildings and grounds and transportation director Listen there. to that, that was... <laughs> For a while. I and that was a lot to handle. That was a lot, um, but it was something I knew that I needed to do, I think I did that, um, needed to do to, you know, build myself up and learn Build up your res resume. And then, um, after about 10 years of that, I had a daughter who was very young, um, and the town manager job came open in Cavendish, and I threw my hat in the ring, and here I am, you know, and then I was offered this job about six months ago, and it just seemed, you know, likely fit. So if anything you can learn from that story is experience as much as you can. And life is a journey. It is, because I would have, if someone had asked me if I would have been a, in municipal government when I was in high school, I would have laughed them out of the school. I said, no way. Not even close. But I can tell you one of the reasons why he's done so well in all these things, if you listen to those type of jobs, all of those jobs dealt with people and how you deal with people. Like, like some people who do that now. Mm -hmm. Whether it's at the pizza shop or the, uh, I said, Lydia works not only at the Ludlow Pizza right now, but during the summer she works down for Jamie down at the, the Villagers. Um, oh. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. so she knows what it's like to it's, deal with it's, people. It's, it's difficult. It, but it is, an ex it is a tool. But it's rewarding. It's rewarding, but it's also a, a skill that will get you a lot of places if you can... Just and I always say, you know, take the time to be nice to people, and you know, listen, listen, listen. And again, your opinions, as Mr. Blige says, you don't have to agree with people about everything, but a lot of times people just want to hear. Hear you listen. That's huge. Yeah. So. Yeah. Who knows what the next step will be in Brendan's life? I don't plan on going. Anywhere. He doesn't think so. But <laughs> you never know. Could be governor. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, is, like, this, is, like, this could be the last time. <laughs> yeah. so. You never know. Never yeah. say never. Yeah, this is really never good. say never. And the thing is, each one of those jobs, he's reached into different groups of people, too, that he's working with. And now he's wor not only working with all of Ludlow, but he also deals with the state, other towns. He deals with other town managers and, other, and the state departments. And, and now with FEMA. Yep. Federal, federal government, which, I mean, you did some of that during Irene. A little bit, yeah. Because of that, um, uh, Lydia knows, because of 131, oh, yeah. got wiped out so badly both times, really. Yeah. So it's, um, yeah, it's, you learn a lot, you meet a lot of people, and, you know, I have friends now that, same boat, and I have some of my best friends right now are secretaries for the state of Vermont, you know, work for the governor. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a, you never know where you're going to go. So, yeah. My phone is going crazy. I think that's mine. No, that's no, mine. It's his. Oh, was it his? Yes. Yeah. My brother, my brother-in-law in California. It goes through your watch. It does go through my watch as well. That's true. And his phone turns off. And my phone turns off, yes. So, quite a lot on your calendar there, too. So yes. we won't take up too much more of your no, time. I'll give you a two quick tour. Let's take a tour. tour. Sure. They work in the clerk's office. Now, they are... Very important because they handle most of all the money in the town, yeah. <laughs> um, amongst a number of other things. Yeah. So this is uh, where all the taxes are come in here. Keep track of this is the vault where all the land records are. The land records. So again, Lydia and um, uh, Michaela. So the property that you people, your folks own, it would be listed in there, and who owned it before, 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 right? And this goes way, way back. And that's a, notice it's in a safe. Yes. So, and then this is Diane. 
she's in the office ne next door, so she keeps track of day-to-day -day operations in that office. More importantly, keeps track of me for the most part, which is important because <laughs> otherwise I'd go crazy. Um, you can hand those out if you'd like. They brought some apple pie they made for everyone. Oh, did you? Oh, oh how sweet. Thank you so much. From scratch. Oh, wow. Nice. Thank you very much. Fishing licenses. Dogs. Dogs, Dogs licenses. licenses. Yeah. 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 Brother or sister licenses. licenses. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll do, we'll, you know, we'll end up studying. We're going to do more about local government uh, as the year goes on, too. But we're mostly right now finishing up our flood understanding. And so that's why we were coming down to speak with Brendan uh -huh. okay. about, about what he's been doing with that. He's been busy. He's been busy. <laughs> as everybody has yes. been. Yes. Great. Come on. And I think this is, uh, you guys are downstairs. This oh, is our. Sure. Is there. Anybody still over here? Conference room? I don't know if Cherry's in there, I think. But we can go in there. Sure. Just to give them. Yeah. This is, um, this is like the, the clerk's office. Kind of handles, it's kind of a, a hub. We have two that um, handle different kinds of business. So things here, utility payments, general questions. Uh, transfer station stuff is a big one. Um, Cherry's here helping with a ton of stuff with FEMA. Um, a lot of all the select board and trustees agendas are filtered through here. And it's kind of a back and forth between here and my office. So pleasure. Good to Have see you all again. Day and an even better weekend. We want to